Okay. Hi everyone. We are outside today because we're going to show you some quilts um, and we need to show you the full length of them and we don't have a cameraman because we're doing this before school and everyone else is gone. Um, Kyle's already gone. Dad's already gone. So it's just us and the camera. But we want to show you these quilts. <laughs> Just us uh, and the camera. Just us and the camera. Okay, so we're going to show you three quilts. We thought it would be kind of fun. Um, what we realize is that, well, I realize that um, I usually get emails from people saying, well, I don't, I, there's only a few colors. What can I do with just, hi Noodle, with just a few colors. And these three quilts that we're showing today only have a few of the ombre colors, not all 32 of them. Um, and they're pretty spectacular and also they are okay <laughs> they are also um, uh, holiday inspired so um, well I guess not holiday inspired but more like season inspired yeah there you go okay put the cat down because we're gonna show quilts now the first one is fall um, and I love this one we don't really actually talk about it very much but I'm excited that we're actually doing this to do this show and tell I'm talking to you <laughs> <laughs> the show and tell because uh, this actually shows some of the quilts that Oops, that don't have a lot of play Oops. Okay, here. this is a big one too we might have to get on a chair I think we're gonna have to get on chairs well, okay you can just throw them on. Okay. here let's move back I'm just getting wet now uh, okay no <laughs> This one, I can see most of it, right? Can't see you, but this one's called Harvest uh, Festival. And it has pumpkins and corn, because hello, Iowa, and corn, and um, I love it. So um, I actually think we're going to make just a quilt out of just the corn block one of these days um, because of Iowa. Anyway, this is a very large quilt. Uh, I don't know the dimensions of it, but in the description, I will definitely put the dimensions of it. Uh, but this one's definitely fun for fall and it's got some great look to it. The background is um, the Crossweave by Moda. Uh, usually you guys ask about it, so there you go. And it has uh, peach and persimmon um, and it has uh, magenta and honey and peach. I already mentioned peach, but it also has um, plum and lime green, and I think there's even some mustard in there in the in the corn. But that's pretty much it. It's just a few colors, not too many. Okay, there we go. Next one. So that was fall. Next is, of course, winter. And this one, a lot of you actually, it's one of one of our popular. Quilt. It's a Christmas. Yes, it's Christmas. Christmas. Yeah, winter. So this one is Home for the Holidays. Mm -hmm. And this one only uses a few colors too. Notice the cross weave again. I was really in the cross weave for quite some time. Let's go back a little bit. Let's see if they can see it a little bit better. More of it. Don't run over here. No, we can't. It's okay. Alright, there we go. You guys can see it. So this one has, whoa, this one has um, lime green and avocado. Yeah. And it also has uh, lagoon and mint, and then it has uh, popsicle pink and magenta. Oh, and then it also has this nice topi and sand. So those are really fun. But you guys can do whatever colors you want as well. Okay. And then our third one that we wanted to show today, which is one that a few of you have seen, but we don't really talk a lot about. This is a fun one though. Here we go. Which, which one's this one's Welcome oh. Home. Ooh. One this one is a little bit more intense. It has quite a few blocks. You can see the, um, the pineapple and the stars. And I love this. This is like cute little flowers. This to me just screams uh, summer. Because look at the popsicle. Where's and the then pineapple? The, oh. the pineapple? Right there. Yeah. And then here's the popsicle. Isn't that cute, Katie? The popsicle? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, but my favorite really is like the pineapple and this is my favorite block. But anyway, and it's got a cute house. Uh, like, so going to 
cousin's homes or grandma's home. Um, and then uh, it's, I love this, this is applique here. You don't have to do it applique. Um, uh, turn needle, you can do any type of applique that you want to, but these are fun hexagons there. So there's piecing and a little bit of applique. Um, and so anyway, this one is a fun one. Um, I think what we're gonna do is I'm going to uh, bundle these three together. Uh, you can purchase them um, as a bundle. You can um, what? bundle quilts? No, not the quilts, the PDFs. So, oh. uh, okay, because these are older quilts. They've been around for quite a few years. We're going to do kind of like a little special on our website where it'll just have um, three these three PDFs together um, at a more discounted rate. Uh, so um, together they'll be packaged together. So mm -hmm. it actually turns out to be uh, cost you less to buy them as a bundle as opposed to buying them each Do you ever individual. sell like the <clears throat> actual quilt? No, I don't. Because I I still show them off and stuff like that and then stores usually ask for them for trunk shows. Hmm. But trunk as, shows? Yeah. What? <laughs> trunk shows. So like you take your quilts and then um, they either like go to different stores and then to highlight the quilt and the fabric, uh, different stores ask you for them and then they go and hang out. So our quilts have been uh, quite a few different places, more places than I have been around the world and also in um, <laughs> just everywhere. So I know our, my quilts are more traveled than I am, but it's okay. Um, all right, guys. Can I show the noodles? Yeah, one last time. Oh, just bring noodles. Bring okay. <laughs> noodles, where'd you go? Where'd he go? No, oh, he's right there. <laughs> That's his backside. Oh, he's looking at the quilts. All right, guys. See ya. <laughs>